Hello, my darlings. Um, I'm Vanessa from YummyLayouts.Webs.com, soon to be YummyLayouts.com. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a professional beam, those beams that go around people, or whatever. Okay, first what you need to do is, of course, open Photo Filter. Excuse me. Then you're going to need to open your picture. Your picture can be whatever, and it could be a person, a band, or your friend, whatever, as long as it's something. I really do prefer it being a full body shot, because I think it's pretty easier, but it's okay, whatever. Whatever's fine. This is my picture, which is Cash Cash. Um, first, what you need to do is you need to go to Edit, um, Define Pattern, and then just click on the pattern. I mean, just click on the picture. All right. For Then, second, you're going to go to your Eclipse tool. It looks like a little circle, and you're going to make an oval around the head, like that. Yeah, like that. Then, um, don't unselect it. Then right-click and go to Stroke and Fill. Make sure the Stroke box is clicked. I mean, it's selected, not the fill. On the color, select whatever color you, you like. I'm going to go with Cyan, I guess. Set the width to... Mm, let's set it to 9. And, and yeah, that's it. And press OK. And you have like a little oval, whatever color you set it to, around the person's head. Then you drag the pattern down, and you do the same until you get all the way down to the bottom feet. Okay, so once it's um once you're done it should kind of look like this, maybe different colors. <sighs> All right, then you're going to zoom in twice to where it's about here and you're going to select your clone stamp tool, that little brown stamp. Um make sure the opacity is 100. It should be in the radius should already be at 10. Make sure the pattern box is checked, not the fix. Then, um, once you start, you're going to start to erase part of the oval, like, in a pattern. So you're going to erase, like, this, then you're going to erase this, then you're going to erase this, and then this, and so on and so forth, to make a pattern. It makes one big bar. You'll see. Just watch. <laughs> Like that, see? And then you erase this side. And then you erase the other side. You have to be careful when they intersect because it can be kind of hard to erase. See? It's just like like a pattern. Like, get it? <laughs> okay, so, you know. It may not be perfect, but, you know, make it look pretty full, at least. You may mess up sometimes. It's okay if, if it's this is your first time. And you, I wouldn't be surprised if you did mess up. I've done this a million times, and I'm still pretty doing a horrible job at it. It's it pretty frustrating sometimes when if you're like. About to tear your hair out, and you're like, that's the whole deal. Okay. 
All right, I'm done. Mm, it it may look like this, maybe a little nicer. Um, but uh, yeah, different color. If it's a different color, that's totally okay. Um, so yeah, it should kind of look like this. All right, once you're done with that, you're gonna click your magic wand tool, and you're gonna select the bar. And then you're gonna go to filter, stylize, progressive contour. It's gonna bring up this option menu. You're gonna set the width width to 15. No, yeah, 15. And you have to set the color to whatever the color the bar is. Make sure, make make sure that the outside box is checked. If it isn't, it's gonna really it's gonna be useless. So press the outside. The opacity to 100 percent. And the effect should already be on blur. If it isn't, go ahead and put it on blur. And then press OK. And as you notice, it gives the bar like a little a glow. Like you can say it. Yeah, I guess I'd say glow. Alright, so now it's coming to the last step, pretty much. You're gonna zoom in again twice and you're gonna do the same thing that you did before, but a different pattern. You see how the bar goes over like it goes over the eyes or it goes over their clothes or whatever. You're gonna do a pattern. You're gonna let one bar go over it and you're not gonna and then the second bar you're not. So this bar would go over it and this one would be erased. Like this. Wow, doing a horrible job today. Yeah, like that. So then this bar goes under. So it looks like this bar goes under him, right? Okay, so this bar goes over. This one is erased. Okay, so that's the bar erased, and this bar is over, and now this bar is erased. Okay, now this bar is over, and now this bar is erased. You can always do a different pattern, like at the beginning, maybe. It really depends on the pattern. Like, because sometimes if you do it, erase bar, don't erase bar, it covers, like, important parts, like the face. And sometimes if you do it, not erase bar, erase bar, it's, it's you know, vice versa. So, I don't know. The pattern may be different on different pictures. And that's it. There you have it. There is your professional bead. Yours may look a little better than mine. Not really sure. But at least you know how to do it. And you can always perfect it. You can add, like, the teardrop tool. I'm not really sure what that does. I think it, like, you know, softens it up a little bit so it removes all your dead marks. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, I suggest using the teardrop tool. Just mark over the bar. So it erases your dead marks, and it looks more just like a glow. And, yeah, there you have it. If this tutorial helped you, you are less of a retard now, as always. Um, you can comment us at our MySpaces. The, uh, my personnel is slash underscore Nessavan underscore. Our official Yummy Layout uh, MySpace is slash Yummy Layout is Swift. If you've heard me say that word, you don't know what it is. Swift is like super duper awesome for yeah okay um that is y u m m y l a y o u t s i s s w i f t yummy layout is Swift okay again if this tutorial helped you you are less of a retard bye home dog.